All right, what's on the bench? Um, yes, they're multiplying. Um, I've showed this on the uh, channel before, uh, these uh, Pico ammeters. And uh, if you had three of them and you could only choose one, which one would you choose? So today we're going to take a look at the quality of the three of them. Maybe more likely the calibration, which, which ones are still in calibration. These are about 20, oh, at least 20 years old, between 20 and 25 years old. And I think the latest calibration was 05 on one of them and maybe 02 on another one or, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one has a calibration sticker of 02 and this one has a calibration sticker of 04. Okay, so somewhere in there, right? 23 years old. Um, so the first thing I want to look at is uh, I have, make sure, I have nothing connected on the back connectors, all right? And I want to look at the zero set. Now, these things are, of course, very, very sensitive. And, oh, did you see that? Wow. Hmm. Am I adding charge to the bench? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe there's just something loose inside that one. Anyway, um, what we can do is we can do a, a zero. So we'll do a zero on all of these. And that will correct our zero setting. All right, so they all seem to zero. So this one starts to drift off. This one starts to drift upwards a little bit. All right, so that's one, one clue here. This one seems to be a little bit funny for uh, zero offset. Also seems to be very sensitive to, very sensitive to noise. I'm thinking maybe there's something, something in there that's not quite right. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and put some uh, current into these things and see how they measure. I'm going to be using this box. Um, I've put a one gig ohm resistor in it. It's a 1% one, one gig ohm resistor. All right, and then we will put a voltage on that resistor and that will give us a current. All right, so currently we have a uh, one volt across a one gig ohm resistor and we get one nanoamp. All right, two volts, two nanoamps. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's go to 10. All right, and let's do it in the negative direction. And then we'll go back down six. I'm not, expect, I'm not expecting these things to be dead accurate. I think the best use case for these is to look at relative changes and stuff, but they should be, uh, they should be within maybe 0.3%, right? So instead of looking at digits way out there, you should be looking at digits kind of in here for absolute accuracy and then for relative stability and things, look at the, look at the more digits. So yeah, I think, uh, minus two plus two. Yeah. I think this one's, this one seems to be doing that test pretty good. Let's move down to the next one. Let's set it here to one volt again. All right, well, this one's reading a little bit lower. Let's do a negative voltage. Yeah, it just reads a little bit lower. Two, three, four, let's go to 10. Nine, 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 two, um, and negative. 
That looks all right. And then let's uh, let's test the bottom one. All right, so we got one. Two, three, four, five, go to 10. 10 looks good, go negative, negative 10 looks good. All right, so that one, that one measures okay too. Maybe it's a little bit higher than these. What I'm really worried about is this uh, drift here. If we do a zero check, yeah, let's do a, uh, correct the zero again. Um, let's disconnect this. And yeah, there's something funny on this one. Let's correct it again. I think this one is my least favorite. When you find things in the trash heap, you don't know <laughs> what to expect. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's just too much. And it bounces around. So this one's out of the running. Definitely out of the running. So let's turn him off. <laughs> so it's between these two. Um, I don't think the calibration... It's, it's hard to know what absolute is, right? I don't know the absolute value of my 1% resistor. I believe it's a little bit on the low side, but... Uh, that's just kind of a guess. Uh, so I think either one is perfectly good. This particular unit looks to be a little bit, um, I don't know, I believe it's newer, I believe it's newer and certainly hasn't been subjected to certain environmentals. So let me show you that. Okay, um, so um, we have three units. This one I think is the oddball and I don't like it. So that one goes away So which one of these do I keep and which one does my friend get he wants one of these um, and So I guess I get to choose since I have them in my property right now <laughs> I'm gonna choose this one and I think you can see there's a difference in color between the two I think this one is either older or has been uh, subject to some environment where it got the paint darker um that's my guess my guess is that this is an environmental thing but it's hard to tell uh this one just seems to be a little bit crisper so um it does have the side panel on too where the bale for the thing came on i'm going to remove that i don't like them because they get in the way when you stack instruments i'd rather have them just like that so let's go ahead and see if that just comes off easily No, it doesn't. You have to take the uh, you have to take the whole case off to uh, to remove that. But anyway, I think that's the uh, that's the verdict.